हेलो एवरी वन वेलकम टू जी के टूडे टूडेज टॉपिक ऑफ डिस्कशन इज वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट प्लांट बेस्ड कोविड नाइन्टीन वैक्सीन दैट इज कोविफेंस सो नाउ लेट स्टार्ट द वीडियो द कैनेडा गवर्नमेंट अप्रूव द यूज ऑफ कोविफेंस दैट इज द वर्ल्ड फर्स्ट प्लांट बेस्ड कोविड नाइन्टीन वैक्सीन ज्वाइंटली डेवलप बाय मेडिको अ बायोफर्म कंपनी ओन बाय मिच्छू बीशी केमिकल्स एंड फिलिप मॉरिस situated in the Quebec city and Glaxo Smith Klein Limited Not only is the vaccine the first authorized coronavirus jab developed by a Canadian based firm but it is also the first to use a plant based protein technology As of now the vaccine has been cleared for use for people aged 8 to 64 According to the authority the vaccine's effectiveness has not yet been confirmed for those younger than 18 and older than 64 Now the question is how does a plant based vaccine differ from the other covid-19 vaccines Unlike mRNA viral vector or inactivated vaccine plant derived covid vaccines use a completely different technology while All coronavirus vaccines aimed at producing an antigen, a molecule that aims at triggering an immune response against the SARS-CoV-2 virus. The approach of plant-based vaccine is slightly different. According to the officials, Covifence, the newly approved vaccine, is made up of plant-based virus-like particles, that is VLP, of SARS-CoV-2 spike protein. It uses Glaxo's AS03 adjuvant that contains DL alpha tocopherol, squalene, buffered saline. Other ingredients include potassium phosphate monobasic anhydrous, dibasic anhydrous and water for injection. In simple terms, the vaccine uses plant-based protein to produce particles that resemble the target viral pathogen. Talking about the side effects of these vaccines some of the possible side effects are redness soreness and swelling at the injection site other symptoms include chills fatigue joint aches headache mild fever muscle aches nasal congestion sore throat cough nausea and diarrhea post vaccination experts believe It is common to develop temporary side effects which can last a few hours or few days. So that's all for the update. Thanks for watching.